Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, check out my other videos. You might find something you like or that helps you a little bit. I got quite a few posted up there. And if you were returning, thank you for tuning in again. Uh, today, I'm going to make a quickie on testing fuel pressure, specifically on this 2012 Subaru out back here. I am chasing a ghost and uh, getting really high short-term fuel trims, especially at cruising speeds and on cold, cold warm-ups. We're talking 35 or above. Like that is a crazy high short-term fuel trim. AFRs are are 20 or more. So I, I really got to track this down and figure it out. Typically speaking, when you're running that lean and it's not a vacuum leak, which I've tested thoroughly, smoke tested it for vacuum leaks, uh, it might be something with fuel delivery. So I figured I'd check fuel pressure on this one. And this is basically the way I did it. I just improvised my own little T here, cut this line coming from the fuel pump in the rear of the car directly in half. Now you gotta be careful if you do this because there still might be pressure, residual pressure in the system. So uh, on this specific vehicle, there's a 20 amp fuel pump fuse underneath this cover. You can pull that and then crank the vehicle over and let it run until it stalls to get rid of residual fuel pressure. Uh, it's usually not too intense when I cut them. I don't do any of that, but it just a tiny little squirt comes out. I put a rag here and uh, make sure to be wearing safety glasses. But whatever you wanna do, I do suggest actually pulling the fuse and relieving pressure. Some cars, some vehicles, you know, you can have more than 100 PSI of fuel in there. And if that sprays out, it most likely will get in your eyes or in your mouth or something like that. Anyway, I made this T here and you can see I kind of soldered some crap together until I found something that worked. And then I have a really long hose. This is a rubber fuel line right here high pressure fuel line and that is going to a gauge and as far as connecting to the gauge what you get on these uh, is typically like a 5 16th threaded nipple that comes out the back of them what I did is I just heated up this this fuel line here and I threaded it over basically the rubber right over the threads and then compressed it down with a hose clamp and it doesn't leak so it actually works it seals up good and this isn't the perfect gauge for the job, honestly. This was the first one I seen and grabbed laying around here in my shop, but a better one would be something like this. This one is just zero to 100, so you can get a more finite reading on your fuel pressure. And uh, first, you wanna just turn the key over without turning on the vehicle and see what your prime pressure is. And then you wanna let the vehicle idle and see what your idling pressure is. Now this registers right around 50, 52 PSI uh, when it's idling, when it's primed, and when I am driving. Even, and even in wide open throttle, it doesn't change. And I thought something was wrong there, but allegedly it's not. If you look in the factory service manual for this specific model Subaru, it's supposed to just stay there. That's the only value they give you. Here's a shot of it right here on my screen. I just uh, downloaded the PDF offline, pretty easy to find. And then here is the specific pressure, 49 to 58 PSI. And it doesn't go into anything else. Up for your specific vehicle, you can download factory service manuals free online, nine times out of 10, I can find them for every Subaru I have. And you gotta dig through it, it's a lot of pages, but you can find that specific fuel pressure value if it's variable or if it's fixed that you need. I recommend you do it like this with the uh, gauge on a long tube. You could do it with an electronic one too, you know, like a real fuel pressure sensor. But I just run this inside through the window like that. I shut the hood and then I go for a drive and uh, watch this gauge at all conditions you know wide open throttle accelerating all that make sure there's no significant drops in pressure now it will drop a tiny bit and then spring back up when you're hitting the gas really hard and under heavy load but from what i've seen that's pretty normal one more thing go to the hardware store if you have any around you and try to find a barbed t like this it can be plastic or brass uh, actually, I would get metal of some sort because plastic, you don't know if fuel is going to eat up that plastic or not or if it's fuel rated plastic. So, 
yeah these aren't too hard to find really simple instead of soldering something together like i did i didn't know i had this until after that <laughs> go figure unfortunately it's not my problem so i'm still chasing this ghost hopefully this helps you thank you for tuning in i hope you got something out of this until the next time you stay frosty be impeccable with your word don't take anything personally do your best